Welcome back to TAP. Now that we've completed the lesson, it's time to make some art inspired by Horace Pippin. To begin, you'll need a blank sheet of paper to doodle on, a sheet of charcoal paper, charcoal sticks or pencils, and an eraser. I'm using a kneaded eraser that's typically used when you're drawing in charcoal. First, I'm going to put my charcoal paper aside to practice using the charcoal pencils. Using your blank sheet of paper, take a minute to get used to the charcoal pencil. Draw softly, then add a little more pressure, creating a gradient with the charcoal. Try using the tip of your finger to blend the charcoal. Use the eraser to create negative space. Take this second to draw whatever you'd like. Now that I'm feeling a little more confident using the charcoal stick, I'm ready to grab my charcoal paper and begin. We're going to be drawing a still life with flowers. Like Pippin, the flowers will come from our memory. Start with your charcoal paper facing vertically or the long way. This doesn't need to be perfect, so we'll be using our eyes to measure. About two inches above the bottom end of your paper, you're going to draw a dot on one side and then another dot directly across from the first one, like this. Now, use those two dots to guide you and draw a hill or arch at the bottom of your paper. That's going to be your tabletop for the vase of flowers we'll be drawing next. To draw a vase, draw a horizontal line in the center of your tabletop or hill. This line can be as long or short as you'd like, just not too short. Then, using your eyes, find the center of your paper. Draw a second line in the middle, making sure that it's centered to the line we just drew at the bottom, like this. Now you have the top and the bottom of your vase. Next, I'm going to draw the sides of my vase. Be as creative as you'd like here. Maybe your vase is rounded or rectangular. Now I'm going to shade in my vase and blend the charcoal, magically making the arch of the table disappear. I'm keeping my vase pretty simple, but you could draw stripes or circles or whatever you want. I'm pretty happy with my vase, so now I'm just gonna add in some flowers. I don't have any particular flower in mind. This is more about relaxing, going with the flow and drawing whatever flowers come to mind. Continue drawing, shading, and blending until you think your still life is just right. I hope you all enjoyed this activity and I can't wait to see what you all create.